Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed. We're going to take a look in on the Vermi Bag Little Mammoth with the African Nightcrawlers. So last time we fed egg and I have not peeked at it. It's been about a week. So let's see what's happening here. Well, so far, so good. I don't see any sort of horribleness happening. See a Tivana tea bag there. Looks like everything's going pretty good. Um, I don't smell anything terrible. So that's good. I was kind of afraid that it would stink really bad. Um, looks like they're still working on stuff. Looking here, I can still see parts of the pineapple, and I'm assuming that white goo might be egg. I'm not sure. Oh, yes, but wait, there is a stink. It just was really well buried. Also seems to be a little bit dry. I'm in this room almost every day uh, spraying the uh, orchids, so the stink did not make it out to the general room. So that's good. Um, so I shall bury that back up again once we get done here. So yeah, that is definitely stinkier than I'm used to finding in the worm bag here. But they are using it, they are eating it, and I really don't see a lot left over. There was that one little bit of... Um, white that I could see, but nothing recognizable. <laughs> I just love it when they do that, don't you? But, yep, so that is all I'm seeing as far as leftovers go. Alright, so I'm gonna move things aside make sure I get this buried deep again. Does that no smell good? No, it does not. Make sure I get everything out of the way so I can flatten that out. So, but I do have a new feeding for them today. Unfortunately, the melon never made it. It got hidden underneath some things and didn't get eaten. So that is going to probably all sprout. It actually kind of smells like it's fermenting. A little bit of cantaloupe wine or something. No, too soon. Get off there. So, but I am going to break it up so that it can be spread over a larger area. Alright. That way I can keep all the different areas of the worm bin kind of moist. Um, is usually melons and things like that drop a lot of moisture. Um, I don't want it all going into the same place. I want it to, you know, keep everything the same. But I am going to cover it up and then we are going to give them more bedding. Uh, as you can tell, they've already made quick work of the bedding that I gave them before the eggs. So in order to keep everything rolling with the African night crawlers, you do have to provide them with a lot of bedding. I have their own bedding um, ready and waiting. 
right next to the Burmy bag. It is the prepared bedding. Junk mail and Amazon boxes. Some coconut poire. Eggshell. But this stuff goes very quickly in with the African night crawlers. They're probably eating almost all of the Amazon boxes and junk mail. Um, as opposed to the other kinds of worms and they just uh, they move through it very slowly. It only takes them about a month to go through this. Um, I think I'm going to have to go check the date and see when the six month mark is for this. We're probably looking at June to do my first harvest on this. So of course I will take you guys with me. Um, let me know, were you guys surprised about the progress of the eggs? Um, did you expect there to be, you know, any sort of pests? Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. And then, of course, uh, we should have a lovely worm ball with the melon, hopefully. Um, but now that everything's covered up again, I can't smell any of the um, egg. And so that will be just fine. It won't uh, cause the cats to want to get up here or anything. Should be good. All right, guys. Well, if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.